Hello guys! I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day, night, whatever um, time zone you're in. I hope it's a great one. <sighs> I'm really nervous. So I know this is a really unexpected video. There has been a lot of time that has gone by. It's been about a year, a year and a half since I have filmed my last video on YouTube and I felt that I was in a good place right now where I can film an update slash change video for you guys. Today, I'm not sure what it was. I felt confident enough to get in front of my camera. I don't even know how this camera works anymore. I forgot what lens to use. So I wanted the theme of this video to be kind of an update slash precursor to what my channel's future is going to look like. So, as you probably know, I have taken some time to myself. So if there's anyone out there watching that can relate, I hope I can be a good example for why it's important to take time to yourself, to focus on your own mental, emotional, physical health. I mean, I didn't really come on here to give specifics about what I've been doing, where my life has been. I mean, I think it's kind of clear that I was not in a good space the last time you saw me. I think it's obvious that I definitely was suffering from some mental and emotional issues. Also, some people noticed it was very clear that there were some physical issues as well. It is so important that if we need to take time to ourselves, that no matter what is at stake, no matter where you're at in your life or what you're doing, you are the most important person in your life and you have to take responsibility for your actions. You have to take responsibility for your own health and wellness. And I feel that I'm finally comfortable and I'm finally at a good place in my mind and myself to where I can get in front of my camera again, I can get in set again, and it's not going to affect me negatively. It's actually going to affect me positively. It's going to help me. And acknowledging that, knowing that awareness of yourself is is really the key point. Knowing when something is serving you, knowing when something is not serving you. Sorry, I like to express with my hands today. And I did want to touch on another thing today. I had stated previously, I never wanted to make videos ever again. I know I said that, but the theme of today's video is change. There have been a lot of changes within myself, within my environment. In the past year, I found myself in this little battle to where I love making videos, I love creating content, but I don't like, you know, certain parts of, you know, being a public figure. I don't like being in the spotlight. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy considering, you know, I'm putting myself out there right now, I'm getting attention right now, but I have learned through this past year, year and a half, that I actually am a very private person. And we learn new things about ourselves every day. And this is just something new. Um, living a private, personal life is a little difficult when you used to be an influencer and that's what you enjoyed doing was creating videos and content. So I thought to myself for a very long time, um, about how I can turn this into something that works for me and works for my life. I think I have a pretty good idea of how I can do it. This is a really big step for me. I'm super nervous right now. I'm freaking out, but it's gonna be fine. I'm fine. I want you to know I'm okay and everything is okay. So that being said, I have learned, yes, I am a very private person. So how can I do this while still creating YouTube content? It would be really cool to create structured content and by structured content i mean like diy videos and haul videos and review videos and even you know i still do modeling here and there even modeling videos just things that don't concern my personal life things that don't concern me really <laughs> i've watched a lot of youtubers recently that are pretty successful at doing this they create really, really awesome content. They put it out there for the world. People enjoy it. And you don't really, you know, hear them talking about themselves all the time. 
I really like that. And if you have been subscribed to my channel for a period of time, you know that I used to do Goodwill hauls. Ugh. I miss doing those so much. I feel like the Goodwill haul is just the essence of what I want my channel to look like. So on that note, uh, I also wanted to mention a few more things, a few more changes. YouTube is no longer going to be my main source of income. Because of that, this is going to be like my fun hobby, my fun passion, what I do to feel relaxed, feel comfortable, um, because it's a sort of therapy, you know, creating. So what that's going to look like, um, it's not going to look like a regular uploading schedule. It's not, you know, I can't even guarantee one video a week. It's going to be more when I feel creative, when I feel the inspiration flowing through my head down to my toes, that's when you'll get content from me. And no more of this pushing my video to be 10 minutes long to get more advertisements, to get more money. No more just doing sponsorships because I'm getting paid a lot of money and not because it's relevant to my audience at all. No more doing videos on what's popular and hip with the kids right now because it's gonna get more views. No more clickbait type videos that just end up being disappointing. A sincere apology from me to anyone that has ever subscribed to this channel for that type of content. I'm sorry that, you know, those were my intentions previously. I do apologize for those choices that I made. I do apologize for um, creating inauthentic um, work with bad intentions. I will say sorry for that because that is no longer what this channel is about. I'm no longer going to be doing that kind of stuff. So um, I hope you can accept that apology and understand that we all make mistakes. We all change, we all grow, we all take time to think through our decisions and go from there and make a positive change and a positive difference to something that was once not positive. So what I'm doing is getting over this personal fear of creating content and doing what I love. Um, I really wanted to get back to this, but there was a fear that was deep inside me that, you know, I was afraid of judgment of people that were subscribed for previous content and were disappointed. I was afraid of that. And now I've decided that, you know, as, as long as I express honesty and truth behind my new intentions and be honest about where I was at mentally, emotionally, and physically in the past, I think that kind of eliminates that fear for me. All of that being said, um, I hope I can be a good representative or uh, role model for anyone out there that is struggling with mental issues or um, you know, emotional issues, and you're not really sure what to do, I hope I can lead by example by um, showing that it's okay to take time to yourself. It's okay to change and it's okay to grow. If you ever expect anyone not to change their entire life, that's, that's kind of an irrational expectation because we're all constantly changing and you can't expect yourself not to change. But I'm very excited to be back to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited to be creating new content, new videos for you guys, and I want you to let me know what new video ideas you have for um, my channel. Anything that's sort of themed or structured, that would be really great. But there is one question that I will answer. Do you want us to call you Natalia Taylor? Do you want us to call you Ashley Taylor? We're so confused. We don't know what to call you. Call me whatever you want. I'm okay with being called McLovin. If you want to call me McLovin, call me McLovin. Whatever you want to call me, I know I've been called worse, so we're just gonna leave it at that. But I will refer to myself as Natalia, I'll refer to myself as Ashley. You'll probably hear me refer to myself more as Natalia just because that's what my YouTube channel name is and I don't think I can change it if there is a way to change it. I don't know how, nor do I really want to put in the effort to try and change it. So thank you to everyone that took the time. So thank you to everyone that took the time to watch and listen and hear my point of view and perspective on everything. And I'm super excited to be back here for you guys creating content in front of the camera with my lighting. By the way, I don't have any lighting, so right now I'm currently using an old perfume display from Elder Beerman that I purchased. 
Oh, just sit But please feel free to leave me comments in the comment section of what types of videos you would like to see in the future on my channel. Your support really means a lot and I am thankful for um, every single person that has ever followed, subscribed, or watched a single video. Thank you. So go out there in the world, do what you wanna do. Excuse me, I'm talking. Be confident, be yourself, love yourself, and don't be afraid of anything. I hope this video was a really good preface to what you're gonna be seeing in the future, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day.